headed up the Chihaw Wilderness area to do a little backpacking for a day or two. And weather's not quite what I would like for it to be. But I'm going anyway because the last couple times I've tried to plan a trip, I've had something come up. And so I've got to make a trip to pick up my daughter on Tuesday up at the Atlanta airport. She's coming into town from a little trip with some friends and so I'm gonna be picking her up so I thought I would take advantage of this and take a day or two off of work and head up here to the Chiha Wilderness area and spend a little time in the woods and the weather has turned out a little bit less enjoyable than what I thought it would be but I'll survive I got plenty of clothes uh, plenty of food I'm just gonna hang out there at the shelter and uh, read and relax never actually stayed at the shelter I always stay around that area but never at the actual shelter because the weather's a little bit less than ideal I'm gonna actually stay at the shelter this time uh, I'll still sleep in my hammock but I've got the shelter to get in you know just to kind of have a little bit more of a dry place to hang out so that's my plan I'm headed that way now it's actually drizzling a little bit 41 degrees outside so We'll, uh, hopefully it'll give me a little bit of a break in the in the drizzle for the walk in, but otherwise uh, I've got my raincoat and uh, pack cover, so I'll do my best to stay dry on the walk in. But I'll check back with you later. Thanks for coming along. All right, so on the ride up here to the state park, I noticed a couple of the streams that I crossed were swollen pretty good, so uh, I decided not to chance the walk down to the falls and stay at the shelter tonight, which is what I plan to do, because I was afraid that that crossing would be just completely unable to, to, to get across without getting soaked or, or hurt. So, uh, And I didn't really want to stay. I wanted to stay somewhere where I had a little bit more shelter because I didn't know what the weather was going to be tonight. So, so I came on up to the state park and got a site up at the primitive, semi-primitive they call it, uh, area. Turns out they have no power, so now this location has turned into uh, primitive, not semi-primitive anymore because they don't have any electricity up here. There is some running water, but aside from that. Anyway, I came up and I'm going to show you, uh, I'm up on the top of the mountain, so I'm at the highest elevation in the state of Alabama right now, which I know for a lot of you people is a joke, but it's still, it's, it, for us, it's a lot. It's 2,300 feet-ish, somewhere in that neighborhood. Well, all the trees up here are iced up, and there is ice dropping everywhere, like Every time there's a breeze, chunks of ice come flying out of the trees. And I'm going to see if I can show you. I don't know if you can see. You see, all that on the ground is ice. Chunks of ice. And every time there's a breeze, more chunks of ice fall. Uh, it's all over there across the road. All of these primitive sites are just covered in ice. As you see, there's some falling now. And there. So, so... Watch out. So I rode back down to the uh, office and asked them if they mind if I hung my hammock in the pavilion up here. And they said, certainly not a problem. Go right ahead. So this is what I have done. I have hung my hammock right here between these joists. I even got a ceiling fan, which I don't think I'll need tonight. But I've hung my hammock right here between these joists, parked right out here away from trees. I don't have ice pellets on the car. And uh, I plan to have a fire right there tonight. So this actually will be kind of nice. Uh, got a solid roof over my head, somewhat of a wind block. I'll probably still figure out maybe some way to hang my tarp up just to kind of knock the wind off. But uh, so I feel better being in here tonight. I won't have to ford any streams. Uh, now I won't have to be dodging ice pellets.
Well, it is almost six o'clock. Got dark. This time of year it gets dark super early, so it's about 5.50. It's been dark for, I don't know, probably 45 minutes now. But uh, just ate some supper. Had a little uh, Idahoan apple wood, smoked apple wood potatoes with some cut up salami in there with it. That was quite tasty and very filling. I almost was not able to finish that. Matter of fact, I kind of had to make myself finish that last little bit, but uh, that'll stick with me tonight. Got a good fire going over here in the fireplace, which is kind of a nice surprise. Wasn't uh, expecting to actually have a stone fireplace this evening uh, instead of a campfire, but the Lord provided something a little bit different than what I had planned so I'll take that so I'm gonna hang out here by the fire a little bit there's a little breeze coming from the north that way and uh, I'm gonna hang out here by the fire and try to stay warm and uh, probably ease into the hammock here before too long and do some reading before I try to get a nice long sleep and I warm up a little water and have me a coffee crisp and some hot apple cider Mm. Not a bad way to end the evening. Well, good morning. Slept pretty good last night. <clears throat> Didn't get uh, cold or anything. Uh, got down to 34 or 33 probably. It's about where it, that's what my thermometer said. Didn't get the, the snow that I thought we might. It was snowing when I went to bed a little. Um, and it didn't ice up either out there, so won't be in trouble to get down off the mountain tonight or today. I'm gonna head home a little early. Uh, kind of tweaked my back a little bit. Not exactly sure how, but it's been bothering me on and off for about a week. And must have done something a little odd or something. So I'm gonna head on out a day early. Um, and I got a fire going over here in the fireplace and got some coffee and pop tarts for breakfast so I'm going to kind of warm up a little bit kind of got cool after I got out of the quilts and uh, started moving around so I'm going to get the fire stoked up here in a minute and uh, get a little breakfast alright for breakfast we've got this morning got a blueberry pop tart uh, I usually hardly ever eat pop tarts except when I'm camping but uh, I do occasionally eat them at home, but kids used to like them, but they don't anymore. But they're easy to take camping. So I got a blueberry pop tart, and then for coffee, I do these little. They're called Jiva, J-I-V-A, Jiva cubes, is what I do for breakfast. I mean for coffee, um, just because it's easy. You just drop one of these in some hot water and dissolve it. So that's what I got for coffee this morning. Uh, I will occasionally take. I've got a cone filter. It folds up flat. I think it's made by GSI. I've had it for a long time. I will occasionally take that, but um, today I just did these. These are they're a lot easier. I got one in there now. I'll probably do another cup here shortly. Uh, heated my water up here on the fancy feast stove, which is uh, one of my favorites down in there. I don't know if you can see it. It's made by Zelf over at woodgasstoves.com. He makes these little stoves. I've got a couple of them, maybe even three. I know i got two. But I use that, my little titanium windscreen there, and the solo pot from Snow, Snow Peak. i got a little more water in there. I'm probably going to warm back up here in a minute and do uh, some more coffee. But uh, So yeah, the fire is uh, kind of trickling down a little bit there, so I'm going to stoke it back up eat my breakfast and uh, do a little exploring before I get out of here. Well, it's snowing again. I'm on to uh, begin getting things packed up, trying to let things dry out a little bit, but uh, it has started snowing, I just noticed again. Of course, it's not sticking anywhere, but Snowflakes are falling, mixed with some rain. Well, time to head back to the house. 
enjoyed my, my overnight. It wasn't quite what I had planned. I was hoping to uh, get out on the trail and uh, spend, spend the night up at the uh, shelter, but uh, it worked out better that I stayed up at the top of the mountain anyway, because I've, apparently I've tweaked my back somehow. I don't know exactly what I did while I was up there tinkering around at the shelter, but uh, glad I was up there when I did it and not out on the trail, so uh, it's still pretty sore, so I'm going to get home and try to get some rest and figure out maybe what I did, but enjoyed my overnight. Got down to right around the 35 degree mark. Got to see some snow flurries, but nothing stick, so that was kind of nice. But um, it's currently still 35 degrees. Saw a couple of guys up at the store that were walking the Penhody South, so I'm not sure how far they were going, but they came in off the trail last night and spent uh, the night at the hotel. But they're back on the trail this morning. They had two two dogs with them as well, so I bet their dogs are trying to figure out what the heck these guys are doing out in this weather hiking, but it's supposed to be nice tomorrow, so they'll probably uh, do fine through the rest of the week, if, if they're through hiking, I'm not sure how far they were going, but I'm headed to the house to get some rest and uh, relax a little bit, so I hope you enjoyed my little short video, it wasn't quite what I was planning, but hey, it's an outing, I got to get out and enjoy the woods a little bit. But uh, maybe the weather will be a little better and my back will get a little better and I'll get to uh, get out on the trail again in a few weeks. So thanks for following along and I hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you next time.